Hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, I had a good time. A great time, in fact. Yes, that's what I said. A great time. What makes you think I wasn't having fun? So, just because I didn't talk much, you think I was miserable the whole time? Well, you're wrong. Did you enjoy yourself? Good. That's what really matters. No, I'm not upset. There's nothing going on. Just drop it. Okay, fine. You really want to know? I'm pissed. Beyond pissed, actually. What you did at that dinner tonight was infuriating. What do you mean, what did you do? Did you just conveniently forget that you told all our friends about my promotion at work? Of course I'm upset about that. It was my news to share. That's the biggest thing that happened to me since I started this job, and I wanted to be the one to tell our friends about it. But then you had to go and tell them all for me. No, it's not a stupid thing to be upset about. It was exciting news that you had no right to share. What's stupid is the fact that you can't see how completely selfish it was for you to tell them instead of waiting for me to do it. Don't tell me not to raise my voice. I'm irritated. You couldn't just let me have my thing. You had to make it about you, and I'm so sick of this happening. What do I mean? Every time we go out with them, you're always the center of attention. And even if you're not, you find a way to make it about you, just like what you did tonight. Yes, you do. You're so goddamn vain sometimes, it drives me nuts. No, you know what? You don't get to sit there and be all upset. I'm the one who gets to be upset right now. You messed up. You ruined news that I was really looking forward to sharing. And even now you won't admit that what you did was wrong. Screw you. Yeah, I said you were vain and selfish, but you know what? Maybe you needed to hear it so you'll stop being such a vapid bitch. She ruins my night, and yet I'm the one who ends up sleeping on the couch. Awesome. Mm. What? Babe, what are you doing? It's like 3 a.m. What are you doing? You couldn't sleep without me in there with you. Well, what do you expect when you lock the bedroom door on me? Of course I'm going to end up sleeping out here. No, no, no. Stop, stop. I don't want to argue. I'm done arguing. I'm done. Hmm? Babe, I know you were proud of me for the promotion, but... Okay, go on. What? Since when are you anxious around our friends? Babe, you fit in fine with all those people. You have no reason to be anxious when we go out with them. Okay, I get it. It's a social anxiety thing. I get it. So, 
whenever we go out with them, you keep talking nonstop because that's how you get over the anxiety. Well, why didn't you tell me about any of this? I could have helped you figure out a way to not feel anxious. Because I'm your girlfriend. I'm the last person who's going to judge you. I'm not going to break up with you because you have some social anxiety. No! No, and I'm not going to break up with you over this either. Of course not. This isn't a relationship breaker. Couples fight. I wasn't going to leave you over it. Did you really think I was going to leave you over it? Oh, babe. Hey, hey, don't cry. Don't cry. Come here. Come here. When I said I was done, I meant I was done fighting, not that I was done with you. Come here. I know, I know you feel bad. I know. I know you're sorry. I know. It's okay. It's okay. No, I don't care if my shirt gets wet. Just cry if you need to. Oh, babe. I know. I accept your apology. And I'm sorry, too. I am... I completely flew off the handle and I sat there at that restaurant and pouted like a little kid instead of telling you that I was upset. And then when we got home, I just lost it and I shouldn't have gone about it that way. That was really, really wrong. No, I don't think you're selfish. I don't think you're vain. I don't think you're a bitch. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I should never have said that to you. That's not at all how I feel about you, and that was so unacceptable of me to say. God, now you got me crying. (laughs) But really, though... I love you more than anybody else in the whole world. And I don't want to fight with you anymore. I hate fighting with you. Come here. Look at me, pretty girl. I'm sorry. I love you so, so much. Exactly as you are. Please don't let what I said tonight convince you otherwise. (sighs) No, you don't want to kiss me right now. I'm all snotty. Yuck. Next time, let's work through this better. Like adults. Yeah, that sounds good. And hey, next time we go out, if you're feeling anxious, tell me, please. I want to help you. You swear? Pinky promise? (laughs) Good.
Are we okay? All right. Let's go to bed. I think sleep will help us both.